Deriving electricity from magnets is widely used by the energy industry in many different types of power stations, including wind farms. Well, the reverse is also true. You can make a magnet using electricity, an electromagnet. Now, I'm going to show you how using simple household items. In this case, an iron nail. Now, look, this is showing absolutely no interest in these paper clips, and these are metal. So it's got no magnetic properties at all. Now, to turn this into an electromagnet, you take some wire and you coil it around the nail. Just a standard household battery, connected at one end here. The battery is now passing continuous current through the coiled wire. Now watch this. Now isn't that just brilliant? Deriving electricity from magnets is widely used by the energy industry in many different types of power stations, including wind farms. Well, the reverse is also true. You can make a magnet using electricity, an electromagnet. Now, I'm going to show you how using simple household items. In this case, an iron nail. Now, look, this is showing absolutely no interest in these paper clips, and these are metal. So it's got no magnetic properties at all. Now, to turn this into an electromagnet, you take some wire and you coil it around the nail. Just a standard household battery, connected at one end here. The battery is now passing continuous current through the coiled wire. Now watch this. Now isn't that just brilliant? Electromagnets are very powerful, but surprisingly, it doesn't take much electricity to generate this power. We're going to demonstrate using this small electromagnet. Now, the only power source required for this is four of these standard batteries, but nevertheless, the magnetic field generated is very impressive. Let's see how much it can lift. Now, I've just waved this piece of metal, and it's exactly 50 kilograms. Now, this electromagnet has no holes without any power. Now, my beautiful assistant will hand me the battery that will complete the circuit. Now we have hold. Okay, Mark, can you take it up? Cheers. Now that's 50 kilograms with four batteries. We need more weight. Got it? Let's do it. We now have two pieces of metal with a total weight of 100 kilograms. That's the same weight as Johnny. Can four torch batteries really provide enough power to lift that? 100 kilograms! More weight. Okay, finally, 150 kilograms. Cheers, Mark. That's awesome. And that's the weight of two front-loading washing machines. Yes. 150 kilograms, four batteries. That's impressive. And now the boys are getting carried away. Hey, Rich, why don't we try this? Mate, it's a great idea. Can you turn the engine off? Right. Great idea. Now, we know it's ambitious. This car probably weighs about a ton, a thousand kilograms, but it's worth a go. OK, Mark, take it away. Okay, with just four torch batteries, it was a long shot, but you can't fault their enthusiasm or, for that matter, the power of electromagnets. But I wouldn't like to be the one returning this car to its owner. Electromagnets are very powerful, but surprisingly, it doesn't take much electricity to generate this power. We're going to demonstrate using this small electromagnet. Now, the only power source required for this is four of these standard batteries, but nevertheless, the magnetic field generated is very impressive. Let's see how much it can lift. Now, I've just weighed this piece of metal, and it's exactly 50 kilograms. Now, this electromagnet has no holes without any power. Now, my beautiful assistant will hand me the battery that will complete the circuit. Now we have hold. OK, Mark, can you take it up? Cheers. Now that's 50 kilograms with four batteries. We need more weight. Got it? Let's do it. We now have two pieces of metal with a total weight of 100 kilograms. That's the same weight as Johnny. 
Can four torch batteries really provide enough power to lift that? A hundred kilograms! More weight! Okay, finally, 150 kilograms. Cheers, Mark. That's awesome. And that's the weight of two front-loading washing machines. Yes. 150 kilograms, four batteries. That's impressive. And now the boys are getting carried away. Hey, Rich, why don't we try this? Mate, it's a great idea. Can you turn the engine off? Right. Great idea. Now, we know it's ambitious. This car probably weighs about a tonne, a thousand kilograms, but it's worth a go. OK, Mark, take it away. OK, with just four torch batteries, it was a long shot, but you can't fault their enthusiasm or, for that matter, the power of electromagnets. But I wouldn't like to be the one returning this car to its owner.